video. Hello mates. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ash and we're going to be we're going to be getting into the Akatar series in today's reading vlog. I have been waiting to read this series. I know this one's like supposed to be a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I got the paperback and I am a little bit nervous about going into a whole fantasy series. I've read two fantasy books before. One of them was Fourth Wing, so good, and the other was Heartless and it was like a Queen of the Hearts uh, backstory and I really enjoyed both of those books. But I've never read a whole entire series. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. And here, I'll show you guys. Look at this cute bookmark. My sister-in-law got this for me. Oh, there's, there's some dog hair. So cute, cute. Um, but yeah, my sister-in-law got this for me in Australia and I really, really like it. She's also an Aquarius. So you can't tell, but over here, I have my little nightstand corner, so I'm prepared. I've got I got a little candle lit. I got a whole jar of water. Stay hydrated, Queens. We have some coffee to keep us going. A Rick and Morty coffee cup. Yeah, so this is gonna be a spoiler vlog. So if you haven't read the series and you plan on reading the series, don't watch this video. I have watched a lot of Akatar YouTube videos and TikToks, and I've had a lot of stuff spoiled for me. And I don't even think, a lot of the time it was like, a, people were saying it was spoiler free, but it was kind of a spoiler. So this is going to be a spoiler reading vlog. I'm going to be talking all about the book. Let's get into it. First off, that's so cute. I love that. Okay, so I'm looking at the map here and it seems like pretty easy to understand. They have a different courts here. And we've got a wall and then the mortal lands. So I, I get that. I, I, I can understand that. Feyre has made it to Tamlin's Manor. And I was confused because I thought Feyre was going to be a fairy, but she's actually a mortal. And her family, they suck. They can suck it. Like, I do not like her family at all. Not really sure how I feel about her just being kidnapped so far. I do like that she's a pretty strong female character, a hunter, all that kind of stuff. But I am, I did think she was a fairy, so I'm a little bit confused there. Especially because her name's Feyre. <laughs> So we are 50 pages in. I feel like it is pretty easy to understand, but it might take me a little while. Like I might have to read a little bit more of the book to get a full grasp on it. But so far the writing seems pretty easy to understand for fantasy. I do think it is interesting that they're, so Tamlin and Lu Lucian, Lucian are like trying to play matchmaker or something. They were like asking her if she has a lover back at home. What do you want to know about her love life? Kind of, kind of interesting. I can definitely see the Beauty and the Beast retelling here. They keep referring to Tamlin as a, like a half beast, which I think is interesting. And it really seems like he's trying to like really win her over but she's really not about it and she she doesn't listen but girl he kidnapped you why should you listen you know what i'm saying i know tamlin's supposed to be the love interest but i don't know what it is i kind of want her and lucian to get together i find it very interesting that even though like she killed their friend they kidnapped her but they're like treating her very well and trying to take care of her a little suspicious Lucian's not about her though. You can definitely tell he still holds some some anger about the situation. Feyre definitely is feeling remorse and everything about killing. You know, she, she was just trying to make ends meet. She was just trying to get her food. So we just came across 
the Bogue, and if you acknowledge it, it can kill you. I think Sarah J. Mass is doing a really good job of laying out, like, the imagery of everything. I'm, I'm able to picture what these creatures look like and just their overall surroundings. Tamlin cleaned up the study for her. That's definitely very Beauty and the Beast vibes and is letting her paint there. Very cute. I'm starting to really like him, even though he kidnapped her. Maybe a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, I figured. I knew. I knew Tamlin was up there in the ranks. Of course, he's a High Lord. That makes sense. He's able to go out and kill all these, all these creatures, and he's taking care of his land. Like he owns the property. That makes sense. But it's interesting that he doesn't want to be in this position as well like he definitely seems quite lonely in the position that he's in i also thought it was really selfless how Feyre like saved that cereal cereal from the like she killed the naga let her arrow in to let the cereal go and that cereal he skeeted out of there he was like i'm not saying i'm not gonna help you girl i'm not gonna help you save your ass like you're on your own now but that was very sweet of Feyre i'm so curious so one of the spoilers that i heard about was Recent, Rysend. I know he is also a love interest. That's why I'm like, I like Tamlin, but like, I'm very suspicious of him because why does she have this other love interest? And I don't know if he's going to show up in this book, but I know he's there. He's going to show up in one of the books. So what does Tamlin, does Tamlin die? Like what, <laughs> what happens? of the man which this could not be him but I mean I'm pretty sure it's him they don't say his name here but he's like I've been looking for you and she describes him as the most beautiful man she's ever seen but he has to be that has to be the love interest that another love interest maybe this is a love triangle situation I'm not sure but I, I'm pretty sure we spotted him at some kind of fairy ritual I'm not really sure what they're doing here but Feyre is also not supposed to be out doing the things but I mean like if I was her, I'd be curious too. I meant to say earlier, it's interesting how like strong some of this magic can be that it's making her see things. So like she's one of the creatures, she saw her, she thought it was her father um, who came to save her. But it was really this, just this creature playing with her mind. So how are, we, how are we to know what's real and what's not? Okay, so we're stopping about 200 pages in. I have to go to work. I ended where there's like a fire night going on, the fairy ritual, but it's more like a sex ritual, to be honest. Um, Tamlin ended up biting Feyre on her neck, but she liked it. But this fire night's supposed to be to like help the magic every year, like go throughout the lands, but it just sounds like it's for sex, to be honest, so. So far I am really liking the book. It's good. It's not great so far. I, I do really like the Beauty and the Beast retelling. The descriptions are very easy to understand. I can't say too much about it now because so far I'm just learning about the characters and the world building and we still have a whole other half the book left so we're gonna get to that. Too. So it's a couple days later. I actually read some at work and I'm at the part in the book where she is going back to Prithian because Tamlin like sent her home because things were unsafe and Reeson popped in and his power is actually like like gripping people's minds or like mind reading and yeah so she, now she's back and she has to go to under the mountain so things are really about to kick in full speed also I forgot to mention earlier there's this thing called glamour and literally when she was like running after her dad like, she thought she was being so sneaky, but there was so many people in there that Tamla was covering up. I thought that was, <laughs> that was a little silly. So she's literally, like, sneaking around, and everybody's like, what is this bitch doing? <laughs> now we're going to get to the ending and see how, see how the rest of this book wraps up. Things are kicking in full speed, so 
we have a name for the blight as well, Amarantha. She's giving like three, so Pharaoh has to either do the three tasks or solve this riddle, which I'm not really sure, I'm not good at riddles, so I'm not really sure what the riddle means. And she doesn't either, so she's gonna do these three tasks. But Recent just gave her the tattoo to save, like to save her, and now she has to like spend a week with him. And Recent, I'm kind of liking him right now. Tamlin, Tamlin's kind of being very standoffish, but he's also trying to save her as well. So I don't know, Recent's trying to, he's being the hero in this, to be honest. So we finished. I really, really enjoyed this book. The character building, the world building. The end of the book was like in full speed. I was shook at the fact that she had to like kill Tamlin. Like that really, that really shook me and it really had me like tearing up a little bit about the two fairies that she had to kill. And there's like no take backsies on that. So that was, that was kind of hard to read. I was not surprised that she turned out to be a fairy, to be honest, because Feyre, like I, going into the book, I thought she was a fairy anyways. I really enjoyed this book. I'm not positive on the rating I want to give it yet. I am excited to see her visiting the Night Court in the next book. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great reading month. Love ya.